Hi, I'm Annette Rushing, owner of Custom Cakes in Savannah, Georgia, and today I'm going to show you how we make our chocolate ganache. The two ingredients that we'll be using to make our ganache are the first is chocolate. I like Calibo chocolate. We buy it in the Calais, which are small little pieces like this. If you buy it in the block, you'll need to chop it up and make sure you're using small pieces. We need a pound and eight ounces of chocolate. And then the other ingredient is our heavy whipping cream. And you're going to need three and a third cups of heavy cream. You want to make sure it's heavy cream and not just your regular whipping cream. Go for it. Okay, I'm going to pour the heavy cream into a pan, a saucepan. Make sure I get it all out of my measuring cup. And I'm going to put it on medium heat and let it stay here until it starts to boil. You want it to just come to the boiling point. You don't want a rolling boil. The cream is exactly where I want it. There's small bubbles now forming on the surface, which tells me it's at a very light boil. So I'm going to turn the oven off, the stove off. And I'm going to take my cream and pour it over the chocolate. I just want to make sure that all the chocolate is covered with the hot cream. And now I'm just going to leave it for a couple of minutes, let it set, let the cream melt the chocolate, and I'll come back to it. We've let the cream sit for two minutes, and you can see how it's melted the chocolate. So what we're going to do now is just very gently combine the two. And we want to make sure that the chocolate is completely melted. And it's going to take a few minutes to do this. As you can see, it's starting to come together. And we're just very gently mixing the two together. And like I said, what you want to do is make sure that all of the chocolate is melted and incorporated with the cream. Almost there. All right, the cream's pretty well mixed in at this point. You can still see a little bit of some traces of it. But if you can look on the spatula and see the chocolate's soft, but it's still not fully incorporated with the cream. So what I want to do is make sure it's fully incorporated because if it's not, you end up with little lumps. It's okay to have some air bubbles in it. And they look like little blisters. And that's how you can tell the difference between unmelted chocolate and the air bubbles. Okay, as you can see, we've got it well mixed now. And the little blips that you're seeing are actually air bubbles. They're not pieces of chocolate. Now, if you had little tiny bits of chocolate that didn't melt all the way, what you could do is um, put this bowl over some simmering water and continue to stir it. I'd use a spatula, not a whisk, until all the chocolate is completely melted. And then take it off and just let it sit. Now it's fully incorporated. I'm going to let it cool completely in the bowl, and when it's finished cooling, I'm going to cover it with some saran wrap, leave it on the counter overnight, and then come back tomorrow, and it should be firm enough for us to frost our cake with. 